Hi, welcome back to Aram Dev Hub. Today, we are going to dive deep into one of the most exciting aspects of Rust, asynchronous programming with Tokyo. If you're interested in writing fast, scalable applications, you need to understand how to use async code effectively in Rust. In this video, we'll cover the following. What Tokyo is, the differences between asynchronous and synchronous programming. How to write your first async program in Rust. Advanced concepts like task spawning, joining tasks, and using timeouts. Before we start, if you enjoy my content and want to support the channel, feel free to donate through the link in the description below. Your contributions help me create high-quality content for the Rust community. Also, join our Discord channel where we discuss Rust, programming projects, and help each other learn. The invite link is in the description, let's grow together. Now, let's jump into Tokyo. Tokyo is an asynchronous runtime for the Rust programming language. It allows you to run multiple tasks concurrently in a highly efficient way. This is especially useful when building servers, network services, or anything that requires high scalability. In synchronous programming, your program runs one operation at a time, blocking the thread until the task is complete. But with asynchronous programming, multiple tasks can run concurrently, meaning one task can continue working while waiting for something else, like IO operations, to finish. Tokyo is built around Rust zero-cost abstractions, meaning you can get the benefits of async code without the performance overhead. Now that you understand what Tokyo is, let's talk about why asynchronous programming is so powerful. To understand async programming, let's first look at synchronous programming. In synchronous programming, when you execute a function, it completes fully before moving on to the next one. If a task takes a long time, like reading from a file or waiting for a network request, the entire program stops and waits until the task is done. In contrast, asynchronous programming allows your code to pause while waiting for a long task, but continue doing other work. Once the long task finishes, it resumes the paused code. This is ideal for IO-bound applications, like web servers, where waiting for input, output can block other tasks. Here's an analogy. Synchronous programming is like standing in a single line at a store. You can only serve one person at a time. Asynchronous programming is like having multiple cash registers, allowing many people to be served at once, and no one has to wait for a single long operation to finish. Rust, with its strong memory safety and zero-cost abstractions, handles async programming efficiently. Now, let's put this into practice by writing our first async program. Let's write our first async program in Rust using Tokyo. We'll create a simple program that spawns two tasks, each simulating some work, and we'll run them concurrently. First, let's create a new Rust project. Open your terminal and type. Now, open the cargo, tomel file and add Tokyo as a dependency. Next, open main.rs and write a code.
we use the hash tokyo main macro to make the main function async. The program prints hello tokyo spawns two async tasks and each task prints a start message, sleeps for a few seconds using tokyo sleep and prints a done message. Finally, we use tokyo join to wait for both tasks to finish. Now, run the program. This is a basic example of async execution. You can see how both tasks started almost simultaneously, and even though task 2 finished first, they ran without blocking each other. Now, let's take it up a notch. One of the most powerful features of Tokyo is its ability to spawn tasks and let them run independently. Here's a more advanced example where we spawn tasks inside a loop and use async functions to handle each one. We've defined an async function called process underscore task which takes an ID, prints a message, waits for 2 seconds, and then prints a completion message. In the main function, we spawn 5 tasks using a loop and store the handles of these tasks in a vector. Finally, we await the completion of all tasks using, await on each handle. 
This shows how easy it is to manage multiple async tasks in Rust, especially when you need concurrency. Sometimes, you want to make sure that tasks complete within a certain time. Tokyo provides a way to add timeouts to async tasks. Let's add a timeout to our task. Here, we use Tokyo, time, timeout, to limit the execution of a task to 2 seconds. If the task completes within the timeout, we print a success message. If it times out, we print an error message. This feature is helpful when you need to handle long-running tasks that might need to be interrupted if they take too long. We've covered a lot in this video. From writing your first async program with Tokyo to spawning multiple tasks, handling timeouts, and managing concurrency in Rust. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider donating through the link in the description below. It helps me continue creating content like this. Also, don't forget to join our Discord community. It's a great place to share your Rust projects, ask questions, and connect with other developers. The invite link is in the description below. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future Rust tutorials. Let me know in the comments what you're building with Tokyo. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!